Hello everyone, uh, my name is Amir and in this talk I will be exploring the concept of human-machine collaboration uh, in healthcare and in particular talk about performance evaluation for these systems. This work has been done as part of my PhD research at the ANU School of Cybernetics and is a joint work with my uh, supervisors Dr. Liz Williams, Dr. Dumith Horas and Dr. Josh Andres. Before I begin, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which this research has been conducted, the Nanawal and Nambri people, and pay my respects to their elders past, present, and emerging. Uh, the Nanawal and Nambri country is now known as the Canberra region in which the Australian National University and the School of Cybernetics are uh, located. As I mentioned, I'm a PhD candidate at the School of Cybernetics, and I believe I need to explain what cybernetics is to better elaborate on my research. In essence, cybernetics is a theory of communication and control in a system that includes humans, uh, technology, and the physical environment, in addition to the feedback loops that characterize their behavior. The term cybernetics has been around since uh, the 1940s and it has had echoes throughout history in a variety of places and conversations. Cybernetics in the 21st century to us at the School of Cybernetics is a generative tool, a way of encountering and reshaping the systems around us and steering them in a safe, sustainable and responsible way. Cybernetics provides a transdisciplinary approach, a way of thinking about uh, systems, but not being constrained by the disciplinary boundaries. In my research, this feature of cybernetics has allowed me to draw on ideas and methods from a wide range of disciplines, such as engineering, human-machine interaction, complexity science, human factors, and healthcare studies, which I will discuss later. So today I'm going to start by introducing the topic of my research and then talk about human machine collaboration in healthcare. Next, I will go into the area of performance evaluation for human machine collaborations and talk about metrics. And next, I will talk about performance evaluation frameworks and approaches in uh, healthcare systems. We are all familiar with the concept of artificial intelligence or AI and how it is changing the way we live and work. With a focus on the impact of AI on jobs and the economy, a report by PwC Australia in 2018 predicts that we will see three waves of automation until 2030s, which includes the algorithm wave, the augmentation wave, and the autonomy wave. In each wave, technology changes the way we work, the skills that we need, and the jobs that we do. My focus here is on the augmentation wave because I believe it is the one that is upon us now and where we are seeing the most change. So what is the augmentation wave? The augmentation wave is where uh, technology assists us in our work, making us more or work more productively and efficiently. In the augmentation wave, we are still doing the work, but with the assistance of the technologies that we use. For example, a doctor might use an AI-enabled decision support system to help them diagnose their patients. Um, this requires us to think about the models of work that emerge because of this change and how we will need to redesign the way we work to take advantage of the opportunities that this change brings to us. One such model is called human-machine collaboration. Human-machine collaboration, or in general the idea of collaborating with AI-enabled systems, has been referred to by many names such as human-agent partnership, human-machine teaming, hybrid human-AI teams, and so on. The term that I'm using here is uh, human-machine collaboration because I think it captures the essence of what's, what it's all about. Um, and for the purposes of this presentation, uh, I want to use this definition by, uh, presented by Warren and Hellas, which highlights the interactive nature of human-machine collaboration, the partnership between human and the machine, 
having a shared goal and a strength of each party. So why am I focusing on healthcare here? The reason for this is that there are some problems in healthcare systems that can be addressed using human machine collaboration. WHO or World Health Organization estimates an existing shortage of 4.3 million health workers and estimates that this number will reach 10 million by 2030. And this is mostly in low and lower income uh, countries. This shortage of healthcare workers may lead to increased workloads for remaining staff and negatively impact the quality of care. The, this severe shortage of healthcare professionals makes human machine collaboration and a potential solution for reducing workloads and uh, ultimately improving the quality of care. Um, research suggests that hu successful human machine collaboration can be beneficial in gen general and in our case for healthcare organizations. However, we need to clarify what we mean by using the term successful. How can we measure the success or effectiveness of human machine collaborations? And this comes up with uh, some follow up questions such as, such as comparisons between human machine teams and human only teams. This opens up a discussion about performance evaluation. In addition to what I said, uh, performance evaluation can help organizations to identify when and how these systems are not performing safely, responsibly, and sustainably, and allow them to identify situations where uh, necessary adjustments are needed. The research on performance evaluation in human-machine collaboration uh, stems from the field of human-machine interactions, or HMI. In the field of HMI, metrics are um, the central concept for performance evaluation and can be qualitative or quantitative. Metrics are typically categorized in four classes, including efficiency, timing, mission, and safety. I will not delve into the details of these classes, but we'll try to look at one of the challenges that exists in this area. How can we choose the right metrics for human machine collaborations? Obviously, there is no one size fits all uh, answer to this problem. As the best way to evaluate uh, the success of human machine teams will vary depending on the specific application or domain as well as their relationships and processes in different contexts. So since my research focuses on healthcare sector, uh, let's have a look at this area to see what uh, research uh, tells us. To a start, we can um, look at the structure of healthcare systems. And uh, here I've used a, a structure provided by Carlton, which suggests a nested framework that allows us to look at the different levels of the healthcare system. And as you can see here in this example, there are uh, three layers between a human machine collaboration setting and the national healthcare system. To explore the area of performance evaluation in healthcare, I'm going to use a quote by Harvey uh, Feinberg, the director of the US Institute, Institute of Medicine, which highlights the importance of performance evaluation in healthcare and the quality of care as an integral uh, part of this process. So to understand how performance evaluation or measurement systems should be designed in healthcare sector, we need to understand what we mean by quality. And to answer this question, I refer to a report by Institute of Medicine, which highlights six aspects of quality in healthcare. This report, which is called Crossing the Quality Chasm, outlines six dimensions of uh, quality. Safety, effectiveness, patient-centered care, timeliness, efficiency, and equity. So when we think about performance measurement or evaluation in healthcare, we need to think about how we can find indicators for each of these uh, dimensions to be included in that uh, framework. 
So in an effort to provide guidelines for performance evaluation in healthcare, in 2006, the IOM Institute established a framework to assist decision makers with this process. Uh, the framework consists of eight principles, as you can see on the slide, and was defined to support the performance evaluation of the healthcare system with a particular focus on the six dimensions that we mentioned earlier. It should be uh, noted that these principles are designed for a national performance uh, measurement system. Going back to the nested structure of uh, healthcare, now that we know there are performance measurement or evaluation frameworks for the bigger system, which here is the national healthcare system, uh, can be a good starting po point for us to design evaluation systems for human machine collaborations. This will help us to ensure that the HMC is developed in a way that it fits the, the whole uh, healthcare system and can contribute to the performance of the healthcare system as a whole. Of course, it should be noted that there are still several layers between these two, um, such as the hospital or clinical level. So their impact on the HMC performance evaluation should also be demystified and uh, considered in the design of the evaluation uh, system. I will also add that the mentioned performance evaluation framework by IOM was just one example, and also the structure that I presented here as the nested structure was, was an example here. And for uh, different applications and cases, the, the more uh, detailed study of that system and the context uh, is necessary. And uh, that's the end of my talk. Thank you so much for your attention. And please feel free to contact me by email if you have any questions or suggestions.